Hello everyone. So if you follow my channel, I'm sure you must have noticed a few videos on uh, LaTeX. I hope I'm pronouncing it properly. I hope it is LaTeX, not LaTeX, whatever. So basically, I am uh, I'm, I'm, I'm actually in a process of learning LaTeX. And uh, the way I approached it, first of all, I'm not uh, unfamiliar with LaTeX. I have uh, seen it in action. Uh, I've seen people using it uh, many, many, many years ago. But as I mentioned before in, in my videos, I never really actually used it for doing something uh, useful uh, for basically writing a book, for example, which I'm doing right now because my next book that I'm going to launch is actually uh, going to be in LaTeX. Uh, and uh, I'm not yet sure if I can publish it as, as well because uh, what I'm doing is, of course, I'm using org mode. And uh, using org mode... Uh, you can, of course, export to LaTeX file, which is wonderful, right? And to be honest, I'm uh, so far, my experience of exporting org file to LaTeX is is great. I'm I'm, I'm actually happy with it, and I, I think it works really, really, really well. However, uh, I noticed that for doing few things, uh, sometimes I need to actually look at the LaTeX file and then modify it uh, further, and. Uh, I realized in this prop in this process that uh, if you're if you're doing some serious publishing, like if you're writing a book, for example, uh, I mean, for, first of all, if you're doing something like you know, generating a PDF file, or maybe or you're just generating some documents, simple documents that you want to share, even publish, you can still uh, manage uh, without learning LaTeX. You can just focus on org mode because org mode is simple, right? You don't have to to worry about a lot of things. You just write using a org mode format and uh, it will work it is of course just a matter of headers and subheaders and uh, making sure that uh, you just follow uh, that simple format and export it and it will work but if you are doing some serious publishing where you might have to uh, include files uh, like separate files and create one big file and if you are uh, also at the same time uh, trying to ensure that you have proper theme, then I think learning a little bit of LaTeX is going to be extremely helpful. And that is what I'm doing right now. I have started uh, learning it. I'm not really going too deep into it, but I'm basically learning uh, at least the basics so that, I, so, so that I can just use a simple LaTeX-based uh, file to generate beautiful documents without relying on org file of course i'll still be using org file because that is where i am focused on and the good thing about org file is that if there is something which is missing you can always you know search online and you'll probably find some lisp code that can do it for you which is always wonderful because it will give you this ex give you this extra ability but learning latex is i believe uh, going to give uh, me uh, more uh, power when it comes to uh, to, to control the way I want uh, this output, the the published book to look like, and and I might share no not not might I will definitely share whatever I'm learning. Uh, of, of course, I'm not really going to claim that I am an expert on LaTeX, but uh, uh, because my focus has been and it is of course uh, Emacs Arc mode, uh, that is what I'll do. But wherever applicable, I'll probably just open the LaTeX file and show you few things uh, whenever I have something to share, right? This is how I think I do. Anyways, I don't really have to worry about all the features. I, I only worry about features that I need for my workflow for making my life uh, simpler. But this is my recommendation uh, based on my experience of exporting to LaTeX because that is what I was doing in the last couple of months. Uh, I realized that I need to learn LaTeX. I mean, without learning LaTeX, it is a bit... Uh, difficult. E even if you are uh, not modifying the LaTeX file, the exported LaTeX file, because our org, org mode will generate that particular file for you um, before generating the final PDF, you can actually insert few LaTeX things in your org file, which I think I showed, right? Uh, I mean, for example, if you want to change the uh, width of your image, you can do that uh, by specifying few things. And also, if you have to change the appearance, you, 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 you can still do those things within org file. But learning LaTeX is, I believe, important, especially if you are serious about uh, publishing your, your, your work. And that is, that is what I'll be doing. I'll be 
sharing my journey, uh, which, which I believe is going to be linked to, to of course, our mode and Emacs, because that is what I use, that is my editor is, uh, but, uh, but expect some videos, just focus on LaTeX. And I'll try not to not to go too 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 deep. I'll not do a deep dive, but just you know fundamentals based on my workflow and my needs. So that is all. That is all I wanted to uh, share in this video. Not really, not really, not really an update. In a way, it is an update of. I mean, I don't really, really like making an update video, but uh, uh, it it was more about uh, I want want to share that uh, I felt the need to learn LaTeX because. Uh, uh, I, I, I felt that uh, I'm going to be more productive if I know how to modify the file, the generated generated LaTeX file before generating the PDF. And if I if I know those things, then I don't have to do searches online. And and of course, not as I mentioned, it is going to be simple things here and there. I'm not really going to uh, cover like a full tutorial of LaTeX. Uh, I mean, I don't really cover like end-to-end -end tutorials. Most of my videos, most of my content is focused on doing one simple thing and that is it. So that is all. That is all I wanted to talk about and share in this video. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and you learned something new. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.